On today's video, we have Sony. That's right, we have the radio you guys have been asking for, the XAV AX100. So stay tuned. So we finally got one in. We have the Sony AX100 CarPlay Android Auto Radio. Uh, man, this thing is great. It's it's at it. it uh, we'll screw it. Let's just get to it. Unbox this thing, Fernando. Okay, I'm going to. Yeah. So what do we have? We have the owner's manual and the warranty card. Yeah. Printed in several dun, 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 languages. Dun, dun. We have a piece of cardboard. Oh my god. And we have the radio. Look yeah. at this. Okay, so a couple things about this, why we just open it up like that. Let me pull this little thingy off here. As you'll notice, this guy, this is extremely weird. This is the top here. This has a standard single din back, but it has a double din front. This is awesome. This is so when you mount it in the dash, you have all kinds of room. Now this gave them the ability to put a bigger amp in here. This guy has a 55 watt by four. Sony calls it the dynamic reality amp number two. So, and it's, it actually feels pretty substantial. You know, okay. I mean, compared to other single dens with CD players. So there's gotta be something in here. Um, all right, all right, I know. We got a little ahead okay. of ourselves. Let's, so, let's continue to unbox this thing. We have the power plug. We got a power plug. Bluetooth mic. Bluetooth mic. Remote. And, okay, we say Bluetooth mic. Really, this is the Android Auto Apple CarPlay Bluetooth mic. So this is the microphone. Right, okay. Uh, remote control does come with a handheld remote control. And it comes with a USB, USB. extension. And the cool tank is this. The Velcro? Yes, man. All right, so the reason why they give you the Velcro, I had to look this up. So the Velcro is, so when you plug the USB in, in the back of the owner's manual, they have you doing this crisscross applesauce super duper uh, Velcro. So the Velcro thing so that this doesn't fall off. Apparently, this was the best they could come up with. I honestly have never had one fall off yet, but well, who knows? It's a Sony. Fishing. We don't use that much Sony's. We usually heat shrink them, so yep. yeah. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it around and show you the back. So this is going to have five channel preamp outputs. We have the front, we have the rear, and this black guy right here is the single subwoofer output. Next to it, this yellow one is the camera input. So don't get these confused when you're hooking this up. Subwoofer, camera, single subwoofer, single camera. Okay, different colors, black, yellow. This is where you plug in your FM antenna. This reddish color pink thing here is where the Bluetooth slash CarPlay Android Auto microphone plugs in. Here's your power plug, 10 amp fuse. This guy right here is an extension port. Right now there's nothing that plugs into that. This blue guy over here is for your steering wheel control interface. And of course the USB that hangs off the back. So when the unit first powers up, it's going to ask you a couple questions to set it up. The first one being language. So we'll go ahead and tap that. There are 12 languages to choose from. You can choose them simply by scrolling up. We'll go over to this side. We'll scroll down here. All right. Tap back. Next is demo on and off. We'll go ahead and shut it off, as well as setting up the calendar. So you have month, day, year, hour and then I like this it actually gives you the ability to choose a.m. or p.m. that's nice so you don't have to cycle through so once you're done select OK now Sony is not any different than anyone else they have this cool OK screen so every time you start up the car you're gonna have an OK screen and it will sit like this forever until you select OK alright so once you've set it up this is your basic home screen here so now what we want to do is go in and go into the setup. So to get to setup, you simply scroll over and select settings. Settings are going to be where like, okay, so you have this installed and now you want to go back and make it your own. Here's where language is, here's your clock, here's your date, and then stupid things like beep. Here's beep. You can turn the beep on and off. Here's your dimmer. Here's your dimmer level. Touch panel adjust if for some reason it's not responding the way it should you can go into here and adjust the touch panel. 
camera input. So if you had a backup camera or installing a backup camera, this is where your backup camera would be. Default is normal. This is not turning on the camera. This is just telling it where, uh, what you want the image to be. So if you have a normal backup camera where the image is pre-reversed, normal. If you bought a backup camera and the image is backwards, you can select reverse and it'll take care of it for you. To set up the rest of the camera, scroll down here to where it says rear camera settings. Now what this is going to allow you to do is adjust the backup lines. So you have three backup lines. You can pick right here. And then over here, you can adjust them this way. You can make them more narrow. You can make them wider. So you do have backup lines. And you can hit reset if you screw them all up. Going back up to where we were, steering wheel control inputs. Uh, this will take a steering wheel control interface. Bluetooth, connected devices, adding devices, resetting the Bluetooth is also right here. Factory reset. So if you've played with this radio a lot and you've got it to the point to where it's just, you don't even know what you did, you can go in and select factory reset and that'll bomb it back to out of the box spec. Firmware versions, you can come here and check to see if it's, if there's any updated firmware. All right, let's go back here. If you go to the bottom, this is where the demo is. So if you get it in your car and it's the installer didn't turn the demo off because he's not nice, this is where you can turn on and off demo. Also on the very bottom here is where your wallpaper is. So you can change the backgrounds. You have purple, blue, green, red, this blackish one. And then of course you can add in your own. You can also tap here. Now, the one thing we have found out is that these will basically always stay white no matter what color you're choosing. We'll go back to default blue. The third list in there is the sound, which is going to be your EQ. We're going to save that to the end, so we'll come back to that. Now, we'll select home. Let's talk about this display a little bit here for a second. This is a 6.4 inch display. It's a wide LCD color monitor. TFT active matrix with an 800 by 480 screen. It has four buttons located on the side. Your home button, which will always get you back to here. You have a volume knob, as well as if you press it, it'll bring up your source list. If you press and hold it while you're in Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, it will launch voice. You have track back and track forth. So track back and forth are located right here. Sources that it comes with natively out of the box is tuner. Here you have 18 FM presets. That if you drag your finger across, we'll scroll. If you notice down here, it's going to tell you which ones you're on. You can seek by pressing here and here, or you can go individually by pressing here. You can also tap here to go to AM. If you tap the three lines, the three lines in any source will take you to the features that those sources have. So let's hit the home button, USB. You can plug a USB thumb drive into this if you're not doing Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So it also has Bluetooth audio. You can press Bluetooth audio. It will bring up the Bluetooth player. If you hit the three buttons in this mode, It'll give you the ability to increase the volume. Some Bluetooth devices have very low output. So you can come in here and you can turn it up. It's nice because it's not buried in a hidden feature. Now in Bluetooth, there is no way to do search or anything like that. Basically all you get is track up and down. Let's hit home. Next is phone. In phone, you can check your ingoing outgoing calls. You can check your phone book. And you can also do six presets and also dial old school. Now keep in mind, 
This was really never made for this. This was made for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So this is more or less just in here for if you need to use it in a pinch. Most of the time you're going to be using the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay phone system. You won't be using this. And then of course last but not least is the rear camera option. So if you have a backup camera connected, this will allow you to force the backup camera to come on while you're going in forward or parked or whatever, anything other than reverse. So for the moment you've all been waiting for is Apple CarPlay, which is located right here. Simply touch that and you're now playing Apple CarPlay. You press and hold this, it'll go ahead and launch the Siri. Hit it again, which is also redundant for holding this as well. Hit the home button, you can go ahead and use all your apps. Now the one thing that is different about this Apple CarPlay that I've noticed over other people's Apple CarPlay is that on the competitors they have an app icon down here to get back home. With this unit you simply press the home button to get home. Now if you notice right here in the corner you have this cool little square with a play icon. If you tap that it'll automatically take you back to whatever source you were listening to. So if you're listening to AM, FM, or Bluetooth, whatever you're listening to, or in this case CarPlay, that icon will take you back to it instead of having to hit this. And now here is Android Auto. So simply touch that. You'll notice you have your typical Android Auto. You can come in here and you can view your maps. There again, you can press and hold this. It'll launch your voice or you can hold the icon here and it'll do the same thing. This will take you back to your home and there again return to Sony. You can also do that simply by pressing the home button so if you're here and you hit home it'll take you back as well. Let's check out these sounds before let's go back into settings and we'll go to audio. First on the list is extra bass. Extra bass comes is just that. It's extra bass. You can comes default as one. You can select off or two. So if for some reason you feel your system isn't hitting hard enough, you can turn on extra bass. This is a feature Sony's had for years. I personally leave it off. Next is going to be the EQ10 plus subwoofer. And it's just that. It's a 10 band EQ with 10 presets. So you have custom, which is on its own, and then you have 10 more. Country, soul, jazz, electra, hip-hop, dance, pop, rock, R&B, off, then back to custom. For custom, you simply just put your finger on here where you'd like it to be, and there's your custom EQ. Over here, you have your subwoofer volume control. So by raising and lowering, you can turn up and down the subwoofer. Now, this has kind of confused me at first. Off is on and on is off. So if you want to turn it off, you select it. Now it's off. If you want to turn it on, you select it again, and now it's back on. So it's not actually telling you what it's doing. It's telling you what you may want to do. We'll go back to here. Balance and fader. You can simply drag your finger around or use the arrows to put it in the spot you would like. Crossover. Now it has a high pass crossover and it has a couple settings, 50, 60, 80, 100, and 120 is basically where it maxes out. I would really like to see it go up to about 220, but 120 is where it is. Low pass is going to be exactly the same as well as subwoofer, phase, normal, or reverse. Then you, last but not least you have DSO. DSO stands for Dynamic Stage Organizer and you have three levels plus off. Now what it's designed to do is adjust the signal improving the stereo positioning so music sounds like it is coming from the dash. So this is definitely something you're going to want to play with to see if it improves the way your car sounds. So this is definitely a radio I'm pretty excited about. As far as installation goes, I love the half din to double din front. I, right. or the single din, I should say, to double din front. I think that is cool as can be. Um, if you've got a BMW 3 Series with that cool air conditioning box in the way, this will fit. 
There's been tons of guys on Instagram that have posted pictures of it already. So yeah, kudos for that. Definitely a winner winner chicken dinner. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, cool piece for sure. Definitely a thumbs up. Yeah. You know, hey, for the price, you can't beat it. End the show. All right. So thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as always, if you like our videos, please subscribe. Please like them. Ask questions. We will answer them. We have a ton of videos on this radio. Uh, if they're not out when this comes out, just check. I don't know if you're looking at this in March. They're up. Yeah. Uh, so if there's any feature that we went over kind of fast, make sure you check out those extra videos we have on this. Otherwise, with that being said, and all that, you ready? You're, yes. you're, you're just dying. Have a great night, and we will see you later. Bye.